If you own real estate in National Harbor or Oxon Hill area, then this February Market Insight is just for you. I'm Melvin Yates, your neighborhood real estate broker with Exit Flagship Realty. On this month's Real Estate Market Insight, as always, we give you the real estate facts, not fluff. I'm going to share the five things you need to know about your neighborhood that's affecting your home's value this month. Plus, I've got the county and national data if you want the inside scoop on where things are headed. Don't forget to like and subscribe so I can continue bringing you the latest and most accurate real estate data specific to your neighborhood. My office has over 160 awesome realtors serving clients like you in DC, Maryland, and Virginia. So we can definitely help you put a real estate game plan together. Now for the numbers. Last month, the average sales price in all of National Harbor, Oxon Hill area was $354,000. This is an 11.2% increase over the last 12 months and an 11.5% decrease over the last 30 days. So to put that in perspective, if you bought a condo on the harbor or you bought a house in Oxon Hill a year ago for say 400,000 on average, you gain $44,000 in appreciation. Not bad. The average days on market, that's how long it takes to find a buyer in the National Harbor Oxon Hill area, last month was 36 days, 12 days slower than the county average of 24. Over the last month, we did have 45 homes come to market for sale. However, we still only have about five weeks of total inventory in all of the 20745 zip code, which means that there's simply greater demand than there is supply. Though this may seem slightly challenging for my buyers as interest rates start to rise, for that same reason, my sellers should put a game plan together right now to ensure they capitalize at the right time. What that means is right now, buyers have a lot of buying power with historically low interest rates that enable them to afford a higher price point. Everyone should be paying close attention. As far as home sellers who accepted an offer during the month, otherwise known as pending, there were 52 of them and they represented 116% of the 45 new listings that even came on the market for sale. Now, ultimately there were 27 homes and condos that did sell in the entire month in the National Harbor Oxon Hill area. That's the 20745 zip code. Now that's down 6.9% over the prior month, but up 58.8% over last year this time. So as the data shows, and you can clearly see, there just aren't enough homes and condos for sale in the 20745 zip code. My agents have several highly qualified buyers who wanna buy right here and right now in your neighborhood, and they're willing to pay top dollar, I guarantee it. So I just need a few houses for them. Therefore, if you're thinking about moving up, moving down, moving closer to family, or maybe even wanting to create a little distance, let us help you put a real estate game plan together. Next, you'll wanna watch the county and national data reports on the next video, but make sure you like and subscribe before you go. Feel free to use the link to get an estimate of value from our website, or just text me an address, and I'll shoot over a free market analysis. As always, you can text, call, or email me anytime. Thank you for trusting me as your source for accurate local real estate information, and I'll continue to work at being the most educated advisor on real estate topics in DC, Maryland, and Virginia.